for a detailed list of materials and links to where you can get them. Click the Read More in the description section. First, we're going to start with the tail of the fly. I am using Gamagatsu's B10S in size 6. And the thread is Danville's 210 flat waxed in white. Take a plume of white bugger marabou and tie it in extending about a hook shank length past the bend of the hook. Then clip off the waist. Now tie in two to four strands of silver crystal flash and tie them in on either side of the marabou tail. Pull out a few more strands of crystal flash and tie them in near the base of the tail. Bring your thread up to the hook eye and proceed to wrap the hook shank with the crystal flash. Capture the flash and trim off the waist. And now you can whip finish your fly. To really make sure this fly doesn't come apart, I like adding a bit of bone dry by Solarez. It's a UV curing resin and cures really quickly with no tackiness. We are now done with the tail section, so go ahead and remove it from your vise. We are now going to use another B10S hook, but this time in size 2. I also added a 5mm sized black cone head as well. To give this fly some more weight, I am adding 0.025 sized lead wire. About 15 wraps is sufficient. Start your thread just behind the lead wraps and tie back to the bend of the hook. Then back up through the lead wraps with soft wraps. Now we can cover the lead wraps with tighter wraps. Now take some 15 to 25 pound fluorocarbon or monofilament fishing line and tie it in extending the entire hook shank. You might want to tie it in doubled up on itself if you really want to make sure it stays secure. Then thread three large sized beads onto the monofilament. Four to six millimeter sized beads should do. Then simply slide the monofilament through the tail's hook eye. Make sure the hook is pointing upwards as it will help with hook set. If it is not, then just turn the hook around. Now slide the fishing line back through the beads and pull tight until there is a small gap for the tail to move freely. Then tie in that side of the fishing line tightly. Again, you may double up the line if you want. And bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. Now tie in another plume of white marabou on top of the hook. Then tie in some small sized silver wire. Then tie in some white bugger chenille. And bring your thread all the way up to the cone head. Begin to make touching wraps with the chenille to cover the hook shank all the way up to the cone head. Then capture it with your thread and trim off the waist. Now measure a grizzly hackle feather and strip off some of the fibers to expose the feather's spine. Then tie in the feather so it is laying flat on top of the hook, with the curve of the feather's fibers angling toward the hook. Make two wraps right near the cone head, then proceed to palmer the feather down the hook shank with even wraps. Then grab your wire and capture the feather with it. 
Now, proceed to wrap the wire back up the hook shank, wiggling the wire to prevent from trapping any of the hackle fibers. When you reach the cone head, capture the wire with your thread. Then just helicopter off the wire. Now you can whip finish your fly. And make sure to snip off the excess feather. Now angle your fly downward in the vise. Then add a small drop of super glue to keep all the wraps in place. But make sure not to get any on the hackle fibers. And there we have it, the articulated woolly bugger. When moving slowly, it kind of has a weird action. The front hook wants to angle upward while the tail is angling straight back. But it will even out a bit when moving faster in the water. It also looks really good while jigging. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comments section. And as always, all the materials used today are in the description section. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys go catch some fish.